What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about what I did last week because there was no training at all. Alright guys, so still recovering from Rocky Raccoon 100. If you guys haven't seen the trailer for that, that's going to be over here or over here one of those places but check that out it's going to be released sometime soon i am working on that edit uh it's taking a little bit to do just because you know it's 100 mile or actually 80 miles spoiler alert but uh it's gonna be a longer video than normal and i'm almost there i'm like at mile 50 so 30 more miles to go and then we'll have the full video out for uh, everybody to watch and first People that are going to get to watch it are going to be the good corner channel members and uh y'all will also be on the screen i usually thank y'all on the screen for that and i do appreciate everybody who does support the goku runner channel so that i can continue doing all these cool videos for you guys so how was my last week uh it was good it was actually not good it was actually not good at all i was in pain like my ankle really got swollen it got so swollen that I could not put any pressure on it. It was like, I don't know what was going on. I thought it was broken or something was going on. I thought it was like ankle impingement. It probably was. Like, my body is inflamed after that race and it is trying to heal itself after all those miles. And I am uh, trying to get stronger. But now, today, I'm better. I can walk around. Y'all can see me dance around, do all that stuff. Uh, a little bit of pain underneath my foot. I do think that I do have sesamoiditis, uh, which is that pain in my toe, just because it's been happening to me even before this race. It happened to me last year. It happened to me definitely this last two weeks, last three weeks. And uh, it's the pain, the pain there is very minimal today. So this is actually the first day that I've been able to walk pretty much normal. Like I have been walking around with a pretty good limp and that happened during the Austin Marathon too, because I did bring this little ball right here for the Austin Marathon ball. It's a power block for the Austin Marathon. I made this out of an old t-shirt. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see how I made this power block, how I sewed it. I'll do a sewing tutorial on how to do that. This one actually held up really well. I used stronger material than my Houston Marathon one. The Houston Marathon one broke within the first 20 minutes and I had masking tape or actually duct tape all over it. This one, people were punching it. People were punching it up. People, one guy had it wrapped around his neck at one point, but uh, it held up really well. It did fall off one time from the string just because somebody was hitting it so hard. But for the most part, I thought this was a fun thing to do. And they're an awesome marathon. Uh, during that video, I was telling y'all that I needed to you know, use the scooters to get around. And for some reason, Austin decided to shut down the scooters along the marathon route. So anywhere on the marathon, you could not scoot around. So that means I had to do a lot of walking that day. And I think that actually might have helped my, my toe because that's what was hurting me this last week. And I think all that movement, uh, it got rid of the stiffness and uh, it was good for me. Although I was walking around in the boots around Austin, uh, it kind of sucked, but I was able to get around. I used a bike. I used a scooter sometimes. The, the scooter, basically I paid four or five dollars for a scooter so I could just, you know, manually do it myself. I was actually scooting with my other leg with a scooter. The stupid thing was never powered. I was so, so angry about that. But I was able to see a lot of runners out there, cheer them on. I know I saw a lot of people out there too that, that knew who I was. They would say, hey Jeremy or hey Goku. And I always appreciate that. Uh, one guy he said he watched my channel for the last six years and he actually ran past me and then maybe a minute or two later or 30 seconds i don't know what it was but he came back around and he was like hey I, I, i've been watching your channel for six years i really appreciate what you do and we took a selfie so if you are that guy uh you know post that selfie and and, and tag me on instagram facebook wherever goku runner i'm on there but i had a good time uh, over there in Austin, just, you know, cheering on runners, just being out there, having my power block. It was a fun thing. And uh, the crowd got excited for that, too. I actually broke my 360 camera. It's something that I like to do every once in a while, just to lose $450. But it did fall on the ground. I think I got a few scratches. I haven't looked at it too close, but I don't think it's as bad as previous incidents where I did scratch the camera. But we'll have to see. Otherwise, I'll have to buy me a new camera 
because I love the 360 camera. <laughs> but uh, yeah, things are going well. I am healing up a little bit better. I uh, actually went to a race director's meeting over in, in Houston for the HRTC. It's like a Houston Racing Triathlon Club. Uh, I went over there and was talking about my races and they had a raffle and I won every single race that I entered to. So I bought $20 worth of tickets, which was five tickets. I put three tickets in the Teos Trails little bag. I put one ticket on a Galveston Bear Run 5K and another Bear Run somewhere else. I don't even know where it was. And I won all three of those, so I was pretty happy. And hopefully for the Teos Trails one, I can sign up again for a Rocky Raccoon 100 in 2025 because it said it was only good for the 2024 races but i'll talk to chris and ask him if i could sign up for the 2025 one because that's uh 315 bucks over there and uh pretty happy about that and that means i will be back to uh redeem myself at rocky raccoon so that's pretty much what's been going on i think that i will rest my leg a few more days before i start running again but uh, i thought i was injured i thought i was out of the game for a good while and I have been it's been about three weeks and I'm ready to get back into it ready to start running ready to start get faster I do have a few races in the future I have the bluebell fun run half marathon I might drop down to the 10k just because you know trying to get back into it not to push my body too hard I have some other races too that, that I just won and yeah things are looking up the goku runner is a lot happier this week than I was the last three weeks I'm definitely much more grateful and happier that my body is able to move and walk because not being able to walk is no fun and uh i can't be a goku runner without running so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did leave me a comment down below give me a thumbs up i'll see you guys in the next one